Let's take a look how to create a Photoshop action and run that Photoshop action on a folder with 1000 photos. So here is my folder with 1000 photos and what I want to do here in Photoshop is apply a color look to this image, record that color look into a Photoshop action so that I can batch process that action on that folder with 1000 photos. So to create a Photoshop action, firstly go to the window menu and select actions. You can also click on this play icon here. Next, down the bottom here, click on the plus icon to create a new action. And I'll just call this one, create color look. I'll hit enter. And once you have created the action, it is already recording. So I'm gonna click stop for the moment and just rename this one to my action. Now to start recording your Photoshop action, you wanna select the action here and then click the record button. And once you have done that, anything that you do in Photoshop will be recorded. So for example, if I duplicate this layer by hitting Control or Command J, you can see that command is added. So if I now stop the action, delete layer one, select the create color look action, click play, it is going to duplicate the layer. Now it's very, it's very important that when you are creating Photoshop actions to plan out your steps carefully and not to be experimenting with things while you're recording. So for example, if I'm recording and I duplicate layer a few times, maybe I want to adjust the opacity of this layer or then I decide to delete it. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing yet. You can see because I've been recording, it has recorded those steps and it can potentially lead to errors or just generally a messy action. So you wanna keep this clean by planning out your steps. So I'm going to delete these steps here, delete layer, and we'll start recording again. But this time I know exactly what I wanna do. So let's first click record, and I want to create a curves adjustment layer here. And I wanna add some contrast to this photo. So I'm going to put a anchor point in the middle, and let's crush the shadows, let's boost the highlights, add some contrast. And you'll notice if I open the actions panel now, it has recorded creating this adjustment layer. Now, when I click stop, it will add in the settings that we recorded uh, when we changed the settings on the curves adjustment layer. So now I want to record again, and let's just rename this one to contrast. And let's now create another curves adjustment layer. This time, let's change this to the red channel. Let's put an anchor point in the middle, and let's add some red into the shadows and we'll add some cyan into the highlights and then I will stop the action to record that step so you can see it has made that second curves adjustment layer it has recorded the settings that we changed let's record again and let's change this one to color and let's also change the blend mode of this to color so you can see there is the step where it has recorded the blend mode change so now when I delete these two layers, select the action and click play, it will recreate those layers for us and apply those color and contrast changes. Now, the next step is important. We need to tell Photoshop what file type we want to save each of these 1000 photos as. So we need to record that as a step. So I'll click the record button and go to the file menu and select save a copy. And it doesn't matter what directory you pick here because in the batch export options, the directory that we select to export all our photos to will overwrite this directory that we select here. So I'm just going to select this batch, this photos batch folder and it doesn't matter what you call it. The important thing here is select what file type you want to save each of your photos as. So you can save them all as Photoshop files if you want, it's up to you. Um, I'm going to select JPEG and I'm just going to click save and I'm just going to click OK to these options. So if I now twirl open this save command, you can see we are saving as a JPEG. So for, for each of these 1000 photos that Photoshop is going to open, it is going to run this action, create all these steps, get to the bottom. It's going to save it as a JPEG. Now you can see the directory here. You can ignore that because in the batch export options, we're going to be telling Photoshop where to save all these 1000 photos to. The important thing is the file type here, JPEG. Okay, and if you want to change this file type, all you need to do is double click on this save command and you can select a new file type here. So I can say, save it as a PSD, I click save. Okay, now if I twirl open this save command again, you can see that it has updated to a Photoshop file. Okay, so I'll just double click again. Let's go back to a JPEG. And just overwrite that. Okay, and then you can see that has updated again. 
Next, we need to run this Photoshop action on all those 1000 photos. So to do that, let's go to the file menu, down to automate, batch, and firstly, you need to select the set, which is my action. So if we look to the right here in the actions panel, here it is here, my action. The action we want to play on each one of these photos is the create color look action. So this one here, create color look. The next step is to select which folder we want to apply this action to. So I'll select choose, and I have this folder here called a thousand photos. So I'll double click on this, select the folder. So now it has added uh, a directory here. You can select these two if you like. Uh, and the next step up here is to select a destination for all our processed images. So the destination here is a folder and I wanna select which folder I wanna save all these images to. So I have this folder here called Photos Batched. So I'll double click on that one select the folder and you can see it's added the directory here. So we're going to open up every photo in this directory, run the action and then save it into this directory. Okay. And very importantly, you want to have this one checked. If you don't have this checked, it is going to run the Photoshop action. And when it gets to the bottom, it's going to ask you where you want to save your Photoshop file. So you want to override the action, save as command. So make sure that is ticked. The next step is to click OK. Now Photoshop is going to open each photo inside that folder with a thousand photos. It's gonna run the Photoshop action and then save as a JPEG to our destination folder. So if I open up the folder where the process images are being saved to, you can see everything working. Each photo processed is applying that new color look that we created with the Photoshop action. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.